Good morning, Shannon. My name is Jessica from Peterson SEO, and I really appreciate you speaking with me on the phone this morning. Um, I'm just going to do this quick video for you to show you how you can improve your website and bring in more customers for free. So here we are on your website, and your website is secure. So that is perfect. That is exactly what you want. And you have a nice looking website. I love your logo. Um, you have some beautiful pictures on here. Beautiful work. Um, one of the first things I noticed is your services. None of these items are clickable. There's no actual information for these services every one of your services should have their own back page on your website that targets the relevant keywords for these services um, the other thing that I noticed is on your website although you have beautiful pictures you don't really have much for content and the rule of thumb is that you should have about 1500 words on your home page to target your relative keywords um, you need relative buyer intent keywords and, and those are keywords that people are actually searching to find your services similar to this um, pool and plaster remodeling um, but you need location based so these should be um las vegas pool remodeling um the rule of thumb is you need 150 words for every keyword that you're trying to target um so let's pop on over to one of your top competitors one of your top competitors is laguna pool and spa and they also have a nice looking site. They have a little bit more content than you do, but not a whole lot of content. So um, if you beef up your content on your website and focus on those keywords, this company should be relatively easy to beat. The other thing you're going to notice is they also have their services and each service has their own page with plenty of content to focus on the keywords to drive the traffic to their website and get those customers. So you definitely want to work on your adding your additional service pages and working on those keywords and content. The next thing I want to show you is this is a program that we use called AREFS and this allows us to see how a website is performing and as you can see right here um, you have a domain rating of a three which is relatively low. Um, this is how Google views you your website and the trust level of your website and this has everything to do with your backlinks. Currently, you only have nine backlinks. You are only going after 27 keywords at this time. And you're only generating 60 organic traffic per month. So that's 60 people per month going to your website. If we take a look at your competitor, now they also have a low domain rating of a two but they have 779 backlinks and they're focusing on over 500 different keywords so they're getting 490 in traffic now um, you need to get backlinks you need to have more backlinks than your competitors and what a backlink is it's when one website links to your website and draws traffic to your website and Google likes this because it's like a popularity contest so the more relevant 
the website is that's linking to you, the more power it's going to give you. And the more it's going to help you increase your ranking in Google. Um, but not all backlinks are created equal. You need to make sure they are authoritative, that they are related to your industry, and that they are do follow links. You want to do follow because a do follow link will share the power of those powerful sites with your website and will help boost you in the rankings in Google. Um, the other thing I wanted to look at was keywords. So these are the keywords of your competitors. And um, you can see that these are buyer intent relative keywords. But as you can see from this volume, you got well over 10,000 possible searches per month that you could be getting traffic to your website. And those are leads that you could be converting into sales. And the last thing I wanted to show you is um, when someone puts in a term into Google, the first thing that pops up are going to be your paid ads. The second part is the Google Map Pack um or google my business and your goal should be to be in the top three which you are so really good job there um in order to stay in the top three however um that's going to have to do with your website and citations and what a citation is is the name of your business your address and your phone number and website and having those listed in a variety of different places like yellow pages facebook and yelp and you need to have way more than your top competitors this is a very competitive spot um, it's continually changing so it's something that you need to continually be working on and the reason is is 30 30 percent of your customers come here and this is where they're going to stop. They're not going to look any further. They're not going to search through Google. Um, they're going to call these top three places. So um, keeping your position is going to be critical here. So now if you follow these three tips that I've given you today, you can become number one across Google. And I know you're probably wondering, well, what do I do now? Well, you can either take this information I've given you and apply it yourself and that's totally okay because this is free education. I just ask that you provide me some feedback and let me know what you thought of the video. But if you do decide you want help getting this stuff done and don't want to have to worry about it or don't even have time to even think about it um, and want somebody else to handle it, go ahead and give us a call and we can chat. Thank you so much for your time and for watching and I look forward to talking to you soon.